definitely don't try this video at home without parent supervision. So believe it or not, certain metals can burn. The process is similar to burning an organic material like wood, but the chemical compositions of metal and wood vary enough that there are some small but significant differences between the two reactions. And what are those differences? Let's check it out. When something burns, it goes through a process known as oxidation. Oxidation is when it captures oxygen from the surrounding air as an object goes through a chemical reaction. When something like wood reaches a high enough temperature, it goes through a rapid form of oxidation, catching fire and binding oxygen to carbon and hydrogen atoms. This releases gases in the form of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water vapor, all in the form of smoke. This reaction also creates a lot of heat, which causes the oxidation process to continue until the only thing left of the wood is ash. When you burn a metal, you're still seeing a form of rapid oxidation, but unlike wood, these metals have little to no carbon in them. So while the chemical reaction still produces a large amount of heat, the only byproduct is the oxidized form of the metal. For example, when you heat steel wool to a high enough temperature, the iron ignites, releasing light and energy and forming iron oxide. As the wool around the initially heated area is ignited by the reaction, more iron oxidizes, causing a chain reaction until the whole piece of steel wool has chemically changed. The burned steel wool actually has more mass than the initial bundle. This is because the iron has been replaced by iron oxide, a heavier chemical compound than elemental iron. Similarly, a strip of magnesium will go through the same process, but at a much quicker rate. A large amount of the energy produced is released as incredibly bright light, even emitting high energy ultraviolet light in the process. But the result is the same as before, an oxidized strip of magnesium. As its name implies, oxidation would not be possible without oxygen. It's what allows the fire to burn. If you want to learn a little bit more about this subject, check out the link in the doobly-doo below. And we'll see you next week. Ah! <laughs> okay, don't use the glass. Oh.